Okay, so the first shade I am going to go into, actually, can't forget this step. Um, I know you don't really need a white base with these shadows, but I'm going to go ahead and use one because I did on this eye. So, yeah, I'm just going to use NYX's white base, which is basically like milk in a pot. Okay, uh, now I'm going to go into this shade called Clementine, which is pretty much the whole entire reason why I bought this palette. So I'm just going to put that all over the lid and get it in the crease. This is like the perfect spring palette. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to switch to a fluffier brush so I can get it in the crease. Just kind of work it on in there. Okay, now I'm going to go into the shade right next to it, which is like this pinkish purpley color called, this one called Meow. And that one I'm just going to put in the outer V and bring it on in the crease. So like that. Then I'm going to go back into that peachy shade with the fluffy brush and just use that to help blend out that pinky purple lavender shade. Whatever you want to call it. I think those two are like my favorite. So now that you have those on there, now I'm going to go into the white shade, which is Skull. And just pick up a little bit of that. Use it to highlight the brow area and also to blend out that sort of harsh line. From Clementine. Also going to use that as an inner corner highlight. I believe this shade was in the Mavita Loca Remix palette too. So, alright. Oh my my freaking allergies are just going crazy. Oh, it's so annoying. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some um, Glamour Eyes Foil Me. Um, you can use Water or MAC Fix Plus or whatever you have that you usually use or feel comfortable using to foil shadows. Um, I'm going to take that on a brush just get it really good and wet, and then I'm going to go into the shade Doom, this blue shade right there. And just at the like edge of it, I'm going to kind of pick up some of that color. Now, you can do this however you want to. It's probably going to sort of ruin your... Not like ruin it, but it's going to give it like a wet looking spot. I don't really care. So if you want to do that a different way, you can. You can pick up a little bit with like the edge of your, the end of your brush or whatever. Just get some pigment and some foil me and use that for like a liner. That's what I'm going to do. So. It's like it works as a beautiful liner. Like, it's pretty pigmented. And I made that way thicker than what I wanted. Oh. So now I gotta go the other side and kind of thicken that one up, so 
So see what I mean by kind of ruining it? It just kind of just kind of made it a little bit wet. It'll dry, but if you want your palette to be in like pristine uh, condition, then I wouldn't recommend doing that. <laughs> so I'm gonna take some more of that white shade, the skull, and I'm just going to kind of put it on the inner half of the lower lash line. Then I'm gonna take that purple color which is called dope and I'm gonna place this on the other half of the lower lash line okay and then now what I'm gonna do is pick up some more skull and just kind of put it over that to make it more pastel like I mean it's pretty pastel already but I just want it to be barely there because it's pretty much gonna come off anyways because of my freaking eyes are watering. I just don't want it to be a huge mess. Okay, so I know this is not the pastel goth palette, but I thought I would go ahead and use this Alchemist palette since I haven't really, I mean I've used it, but yeah, I just thought it would kind of bring this look together. So what I'm going to do is pretty much just use the ultraviolet uh, amethyst color which is like the center the center one and I'm just going to place that in the inner corner over the white place it over the white on the lower lash line and also use it under the arch of my brow just kind of rub it in with my finger and it gives off this really cool glow. It kind of brings the whole look together. So now for, now I'm going to curl my lashes and put my mascara on and then I'll be back for the rest of the face. Okay, so I'm just gonna do blush and highlight today. And for blush, I'm gonna use this shade from Aromale, which was, I don't think it's available anymore, but it's called Lemon Lamentation. Lamentation. It's like a really pretty, soft, springy pink blush with like a purpley blue duo. Super pretty. So I'm just going to place a little bit of that on my cheeks. Okay, and then of course for highlight, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. Uh, I think I'm going to use the pink opal at the bottom. Seriously, I wish that this palette had bigger pans because I am going to use the shit out of these and they're going to be gone before the end of this year. Which I guess is kind of a good thing because I don't feel like I get my money's worth, but then I'm going to have to buy another one. And they better still be available because that would be very sad. I mean, oh my god, just look at that glow. <sighs> so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of blend that out with my powder brush. Okay, and then I haven't even thought about lips yet, so from Notorious Notoriously Morbid. This one is called Awful Good Girl, and it was unfortunately limited edition. I really wish it wasn't because oh, it's like the perfect purple, like seriously. The perfect purple. Okay, and that is pretty much the final look. Let me zoom in. So there you have the eyeballs. I don't know if you could see the highlight, but it's there and it's freaking gorgeous so there's the cheeks and the highlight and the lips so yeah that's pretty much it i'm really impressed with the pigmentation on this and the only thing that i wish that was different i mean it's not even like a huge deal but i wish the green was more of like a minty green i mean it is like a minty green but it's like a like 
I don't know, it's hard to describe. I wish it was more of like a true mint, but that's totally fine. I can appreciate this color because, you know, it's kind of like towards the end of the palette where there's darker, more neutral colors. So anyways, yeah, um, did any of you pick this up? What do you feel? What are your thoughts on it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you all very soon.